Hi friends, this is gonna be a short video where I'm going to show you how to place a minimum load size on Deriv. So the minimum load size for Deriv, like for synthetic indices, is 0 0.30 for volatility 10 index. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I manage to place very small load sizes. Before we get started, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel because i'm doing a challenge where i'm trying to grow a two dollar account up to where i don't know it's gonna be so right now it's at nine dollars as we speak so i'm gonna show you how to place the minimum load size on derive so if i go to synthetic indices if i open volatility 10 for example if i open volatility 10 the chart right here you are going to see that when i try to place a trade so if i, pl I try to place a trade the minimum load size required is 0 0.30 but if you have a small account like a three dollar four dollar five dollar account if you place this load size it simply means you have more chances of having your stop loss being hit without the market reaching where you want to be so i want to show you how you can place a 0 0.05 load size on this one right so there's a simple trick that i do it's not like uh, the magic trick but it's a very simple trick all you need to do is go come here place this 0 0.30 and then you add this to 0 0.35 so let's say you want to uh to buy on this market right here so let's say your trade that you want is a buy order right so you want to place a buy order with a big load size like 0 0.35 right once i place a buy order right here i'm just gonna go back straight into the market and then i'm gonna reduce the load size to 0 0.30 and then i'm gonna sell so you you understand that the first order was a buy order and then the second order is the sale order right so for me to be left out with a good buy order with a 0 0.35 i want to close the sale order because if you look at this the buy order is 0 0.35 and then the sale order is 0 0.30 so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna long press and then i'm gonna click close buy so i want to close this sale order but closing it by the buy order so i'm just gonna click close buy and this is the order number this is the order number if i click ok right here you're going to see that the, the sale order is closed and i'm left out with a buy order which have only 0 0.0 five load size so as you can see this is now the minimum load size if i go to history you're going to see that when i closed the sale order i closed it with a small loss of six cents right so make sure when you are doing this you close that sale order as fast as possible if you are closing that another trade make sure to close it as fast as possible so that you don't get a big loss right here so as you can see right now i have a 0 0.05 load size let's say uh, you can, as you can see right now i have a 0 0.05 load size this load size is very safe for me to trade with i can let the market run all day without hitting my stop loss so as you can see now i have two trades going on i'm trying to grow this small account up to uh, 30 dollars or more i started with two dollars i will show you the link to that video when i started we are going to see in the next videos how these trades are going to play out